kings, queens, and non-binary royalty, welcome back to my channel. And I feel like my outfit today is giving season one Pretty Little Liars, Allison's Funeral vibes. Like, I feel like I could stand there with the liars when they receive their first text from A and I would fit in. I'm actually not sure whether that was the first text they received. To be honest, I have not watched that train wreck of a TV show in way too long. Actually, no, it will never be long enough for me to forget that terrible ending. But anyway, today we're talking about my online mystery hunt. That was a giveaway that I hosted, but at the same time, it was also just, you know, an experience that everybody could have. And if you solved all the clues from the mystery hunt, then you could also win book packages from me. And I wanted to walk you guys once through my online mystery hunt to show you how it was meant to be solved in case you guys stuck on one of the clues and you'd like to know how the clue would have been solved but I also wanted to show you guys how you can do something like this because it's relatively easy to do and completely free it will take time and effort but I think it's a relatively cool gift that you can give to someone so yeah let's go The first thing that I did was create a notion page and on there I just had a rough draft of ideas like what different clues do I want to place? Where do I want to put them in the internet? And then I went over that again and again, refined the ideas and ultimately then had my plan. I set up all of the different clues and I also had one friend try out the online mystery hunt beforehand just to check whether everything really works and whether the clues are clear enough. And then I announced the online mystery hunt to you guys. So I announced it with an Instagram post, it was a carousel post, so you could swipe through it and on there I set up a scenario of Elena has lost her crown ring, the beloved ring, which I actually kind of have lost at the moment because I forgot to bring it here to Germany, so I'm just here without my ring. Um, but that was the scenario and someone was only going to return it to me if you guys solved the online mystery hunt. Now obviously that was a completely fictional scenario but I wanted to have some like mystery aspect to it and I didn't really know whatever story to come up with and this is the best I could do, I'm sorry. Um, so, and then it also told you what you know you are meant to do, when's the deadline for submitting an entry for the giveaway, it was December 22nd, and then where you can find the first clue. And the first clue was in my most recent YouTube video. And that, at the time, was this one. Now, when you watch the YouTube video and when you look in the description box, you will actually find two weird things. First up, in the description box, there were these weird letters which really made no sense whatsoever. But also, if you keep watching the video, you also see that at one time, I show you an Instagram handle that isn't mine. So why am I promoting an Instagram that isn't Elena's Instagram? And if you go there, well, look at that. Looks pretty good for the mystery hunt, doesn't it? And this weird Instagram profile only had one post up, which was this one right here. And now you need to think, okay, what does that r slash something mean? Now, on the internet, r slash can obviously mean different things, but very often it's used to refer to subreddits on Reddit. And if you go to Reddit and you search for the subreddit, you will actually find one. And look at that. It belongs to Elena's mystery hunt. I mean, I literally tell you right there. Fun fact, my first account kind of got banned on Reddit. Um, so that's why my account is now called not Elena Hantrick because my Elena Hantrick account is incapable of creating subreddits. Any subreddit I create is immediately banned. I don't know how that happened because I only created my Reddit account for the mystery hunt but someone banned my first community and now every ever that I'm creating also gets banned so I guess I will never be able to do anything on Reddit as Elena Hantrick so I'll just have to do it as not Elena Hantrick but those are the things that you can run into in terms of problems um, and that's why I think it, your safest bet is usually if you create websites I mean you can do that for free nowadays with Wix and Squarespace and you can even create notion links that operate basically like websites but luckily this subreddit stayed online and this is the post that was there so you again had some weird letters that really didn't mean a lot then you also had these wikipedia links one led you to this one time pad thing and the other one to lady diana now what do these two have in common we're gonna get to that 
And then there was also a link to the next clue that I told you, don't go there unless you solve this one because otherwise you're not gonna be able to solve it. Now, what do you do with this Reddit post? Now in the Reddit post, I'm already telling you that these odd letters that mean absolutely nothing, they are part of a cipher. So you need to crack the code. And then I told you that the Wikipedia links are hints for solving the cipher. So a good starting point would be going on these links. So the one-time pad thing obviously tells you a lot about encryption and a certain type of encryption. And the Lady Diana Wikipedia page, in and of itself, probably not that helpful, but the two combined? Well, if you then look again at that one-time pad Wikipedia page, very much on top there, you have this picture and the heading of the picture is that it is a Diana code, which was used by the NSA. And there you go. Now you know what type of cipher we're talking. And that way you can start solving it because now you at least know how the cipher operates. Now the Diana cipher operates in such a way that you actually need two different sets of code. So you need the message text, which is encoded. So you're not gonna be able to directly read it, but then you also need a key for the cipher. And the key was that weird text that I included in my description box in the video. Okay, so now that we have these two sets of letters, one is the key and one is the message text, you still need to decode the message. So for solving the Diana cipher, I would recommend making tables like this. So you have the key text, then the message text, and then here you have whatever that actually means. And to solve the Diana cipher, you could use a cipher disk like that if you have one. Obviously, not everybody's gonna have that at home because why would you? And if you don't have that, it's not a problem because there are tables for the Diana cipher and they are available for free online. And on these tables, you can really easily just check if we have this letter from the key text and this letter in the message text that is encoded, what letter does that represent? And that way you can solve a Diana cipher. Now, what do you get when you decode that text from the Diana cipher? Well, obviously your girl also tried it um, just to make sure I also did it correctly. So. When we decode it, we get text from first Insta post in December. And that's it. So go to the first Instagram post that I put up in December. And what is it? This one right here. And look at that. I even gave you a link to the book I was reading. And this is important now. Now, in the Reddit post, I already told you where to go next for your next clue. And then you just get to this very random page um, with a lot of really random things. Like, what is this now? So now the Diana Cypher told you you need this text. You have it. You got a link to it. And now you have this. Now we're talking about a book cipher. So with a book cipher, you use the text in a book as a key text and the cipher tells you which letters or words from this text you need. And with a book cipher, the most important thing is that whoever you are sending the encoded text to knows which book it is. And not just the title, but the exact edition. Because with a book cipher, you tell them which page to go to, which line, which word, and potentially even which letter within the word. And that's exactly what I did here with Dicey's book. So here's what you got if you decoded the message. It said, the key is the hardest stone, the portal is hidden and yet accessible. All it takes is a slash portal behind the website on which E started making content. Wow. I, I really felt like I was A and Pretty Little Liars formulating that, but it turns out apparently it was really easy and most people did solve it. So first of all, the key is the hardest stone. What on earth? Um, what is the hardest stone? If you didn't know, just Google it. It's a diamond, okay? Um, now the portal is hidden and yet accessible. That's odd. You can kind of ignore that. That one was not really needed, but you know, I wanted to sprinkle some mystery in there. Um, and then it says, all it takes is a slash portal behind the website on which E started making content. Now, in case you haven't realized, E is me. I'm Elena. 
Um, where did I start making content? And if anyone here now says YouTube, no, you are not one of the OGs, okay? I started making content when I was 15 years old and it was certainly not on YouTube. My mother would not have allowed that. I created a website completely in secret and that was the first place where I made content and that blog is still up. It's called elenahantrick.com. So slash portal is all it takes to get there, okay? elenahantrick.com slash portal and look where it gets you. Now it's asking for a password. Now I told you what the key is, the hardest stone. So we type in diamond and ooh la la, there we go. Now we are at the final stage of the mystery hunt. Now I gave you four questions about this photo and I also gave you a download link. And the thing is, if you do something like this, um, please do not share the photo on social media because um, people are gonna have to find information about this photo. And this information is hidden in the metadata. So the information about the photo, like when the photo was taken, did you use a flash, on what phone did you take that photo, etc. Your phone stores a lot more information about a photo that you take than just the fact that this is the photo. Um, and the, all of that goes into the metadata of that photo, but social media sites usually get rid of the metadata. So people won't be able to distill that from a photo that you've posted on Instagram or something. So you really need to give them a download link to the original file. Now there are different ways you can find out about this information. Now, for example, on the Mac, you can go um, to information about the file on the finder, and then you can see a lot about the metadata of the file, or you can also use an online metadata viewer. Now, my favorite one for that is Jeffrey's, but Honestly, there's a lot of them out there. I know it's kind of weird to have a favorite metadata viewer, but I do. But I mean, there's a lot of them out there. Um, but there you could also just put the file into that and then see all the metadata. And then you can answer the different questions that I had about that photo, like what's the exact second at which that photograph was taken? Did I use a flash, etc. And once you had all these answers, I told you that now you can enter the giveaway, you need to submit all of these answers and also include your full name and then send it to an email address. But I didn't tell you the email address, I just told you that it's hidden somewhere on my social media and it does not end in at elenahedrick.com or at co-mg.de because that is my management. So obviously you were not meant to send all of these emails to my management, um, but also not to my normal email address. So you had to go through my social media again and find that email address. And if you remember where we started in that Instagram post on my page, there was an email about that ring that was stolen and I gave you the email address where it came from. Now, that is the only email address that you will find in my December 2021 content that does not end in either at elenehandra.com or at C-O-M-N-G-D-E. So you had to send it to that Gmail address. And that was it. If you sent that in, then you were part of the giveaway. And obviously I will be contacting the winners in due time, but that is how the whole online mystery hunt worked. And if you did participate, I hope you enjoyed it. I also had a section on my Discord server where people could talk about the mystery hunt and give each other clues. I really appreciate how helpful people were being and you know how willing you guys were to help others out. Um, I think that was really, really great and also reminded me that this community is a very, very positive and sweet one. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who participated and who gave clues in the mystery hunt section on my Discord server. And I hope you enjoyed it because that was really the main point. I wanted to give you a cool experience because obviously I could just do like a random giveaway where you just like and share a post or something. But personally, I don't really like these. And I wanted to give something to my community that everybody could enjoy, but I can't buy everyone a Christmas gift because your girl's broke, okay? So I thought, well, I'm gonna do a giveaway so that some people get a gift, but I'm also gonna gift the experience of this mystery hunt to everyone because everybody could do that. And I hope that you had fun doing it. And yeah, that's how the whole online mystery hunt worked. And if you guys wanna create an online mystery hunt yourself, you definitely can. It's completely free to do it. Obviously, I am paying for my website because I have an individual domain, elenehandrick.com, but 
You can create free websites on the internet nowadays, so you might not have this individualized domain, but since it's just for the sake of an online mystery hunt, I think that's fine. Um, and you can do it completely for free. It will definitely take some time to prepare it and you will have to put in some effort, but I think it's a really great experience gift that you can give to people. And yeah, thank you to everyone who participated and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye.